Hi everyone. A very popular visual effect is to create a scene where, where the same person appears multiple times at once. Now this is actually a very simple visual effect as long as the person doesn't overlap or interact with themselves. And in this tutorial we are going to show you how to create this effect. I highly recommend that you use a tripod for this. You can get the effect without a tripod, but it is a lot harder. Then simply record yourself in all the different positions that you want to appear in the scene. Once you're done with that, you're ready to create the effect. The base idea of this effect is that you use the same clip multiple times, but at different time positions. Then for each of these instances, you can cut out the area you're interested in and glue them back together to create one frame where you appear multiple times. Okay, let's jump right into the tutorial. Personally, I like using After Effects for these things, but you can do the same thing in Adobe Premiere using garbage mats, and I'm pretty sure that Final Cut on the Mac would have similar features for masking. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a new composition and call it Tobias Clones. I'm gonna make it three minutes long, 1080p, and I'm gonna click OK. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab the footage that I shot and just drag it in here as a layer. I'm gonna call it footage very creative now this footage is the full clip of me sitting on the couch first reading a book and then sitting on the couch playing a video game what I want to do is I want to duplicate this footage so I'm gonna press ctrl D you can also go edit and duplicate the layer and what I want to do is I'm gonna turn off the second layer for now and in the first layer I'm gonna pick only the area of the clip where I actually sit on the couch and read a book so I'm gonna go to the end, that's where I'm getting up. So I'm gonna trim this down to about here. And I'm gonna go to the beginning to where I sit down. I'm gonna trim this down to about here. So now all I have is this clip of me sitting on the couch reading a book. I'm gonna drag this forward to the beginning. Come on after effects. Um, then I'm gonna turn on the second layer again, my second footage. And here I want to clip out or take the area where I'm actually sitting on the couch playing video games. So let's see what I'm getting up. Um, about there. So I'm gonna trim this back as well and I'm gonna get it to start when I'm already sitting on the couch to about there. So now I've got this clip here where I'm just sitting on the couch. Now again I'm just gonna drag it right over this second layer here. So now we've got a clip on top of the other clip where if I toggle the top layer off you can see the clip underneath is of me sitting on the couch reading a book. What I now want to do is I want to select the top layer, click the little square here, the rectangle tool, and draw a mask onto this layer which is just gonna hold down my left mouse button and I'm gonna drag it across and you're gonna see, can see how the top layer is being revealed under this mask and to about between the two clones I'm gonna let go. And essentially that is the finished effect. Now if I ram preview this for a little bit. Ah, and that should be enough. And there you have it. It looks as if I'm sitting next to myself, reading a book and playing a video game. Now I'm gonna stop this for a second. One last thing that you might want to do, if I select this mask, you can see how which part we're selecting from the left image and which from the right. If I zoom in, I'm not sure you can see this. If I zoom in, there is actually a small line that you can see between these clips. I think it's because I was sitting a bit further forward on this side, so the light was bouncing off a bit differently. Sometimes, depending on your situation, you can see quite harsh lines between these clips. What you can do to cater for that is simply give your mask a bit of feathering. So I'm gonna turn off the bottom clip first, just so you can see what's actually gonna happen. I'm gonna on my top layer, expand, select the mask. Under the mask there's a feather option, which basically just softens the boundary of your mask. As you can see here, we don't need too much, probably 30 to 50 will probably be sufficient. Just to kind of give it a bit of a smoother edge so it doesn't cut in as sharply. So and now if I just enable the clip below it again, I have a problem finding the border between those two clips and that's basically it. I usually like to add some effects on top of it to filter it, make it look a bit nicer, but you can have a lot of fun with this effect. You can have yourself 20, 50, 100 times in the same scene if you can really fit it in. The only things you wanna watch out for, try not to overlap yourself, and it's hard to do interactions with yourself because you gotta be a bit smarter about how you go about that. 
We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and are happy to answer all and any question you may have in the comment section below. Until then, we will see you later. Oh, oh sorry.